Let the Lord be your keeper and your guide. Hallelujah. Bow down and worship Him. Enter in. Oh, enter in. Bow down and worship
because of who you are, Almighty God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, I invite Sister Mark to come with the opening hymn. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, we'll continue by singing from our Pentecostal hymnal. Hymn number 12, we have an anchor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hymn number 12, we have an anchor. hold in the storms of life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife when the strong ties live and the cable strain will your anchor drift
is the name of that rock. Oh, hallelujah. Shout the Jesus. name of that rock. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Natalie is coming. Hallelujah. With the opening prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. All right, I'm going to ask everybody that has a prayer request this morning, just to raise your hands. Praise the Lord. I believe that we all do. Praise God. And by faith, we're going to believe those prayers are answered. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, what will we do? Show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. One more time. We need to hear. We need to hear. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Most high God, our Savior, our King, our Rock, our Shield, the way maker God, hallelujah. The one who was and is and is to come, the Almighty, hallelujah. Our Rock of Ages, our never failing God, the love of our soul, the one that peace speaks peace into the midst of the storm hallelujah the one that opens the doors that are shut and shut doors god that are open lord this morning we worship you god we exalt your name jesus we love you lord and we thank you for the privilege oh god of coming into your house one more time to worship you we thank you lord for the privilege of knowing you in and in truth oh god we worship you lord we thank you jesus for your presence oh god we thank you for your sweet spirit thank you for your love oh lord hallelujah you are god hallelujah and there's none else beside you oh none else satisfies the soul like you do this morning we're so grateful to know you lord so many don't know you but it's a privilege to know you mighty god you deserve all glory all honor and all praises oh god you deserve everything hallelujah 
And so this morning, as we come before you, we ask you, Lord, help us, oh God, to give our all to you. Hallelujah. You deserve nothing less, oh God, but our all. Oh Jesus, you gave everything for us, oh God, through your love and mercy. We pray, mighty God, for Lord Jesus, your people this morning, that you'd help us, oh Lord, to lay ourselves in your hands as the potter and the clay, Lord. Mold us and shape us and form us into that which you'd have us to be. Hallelujah. The promise of your word is still upon this earth, oh God. Hallelujah. Use us to reach mankind. Souls is your desire, Lord Jesus. Give us a burden, Lord Jesus, to reach the lost. This morning, almighty God, I pray that you touch each and every person that is here. We lift our leaders before you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. We pray strength over their bodies, Lord. In Jesus' name, give them, Lord, a renewed strength, oh God, that can only come by your touch and your spirit, Lord. We pray for every sick person this morning. We rebuke every sickness of the body, of the mind, of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, and we pray your healing, almighty God, healing of our thoughts, healing of our bodies, healing, almighty God, in our inside and out. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, we ask you to, almighty God, take control of this morning's service. Lord Jesus, let your spirit be spread abroad. Let those that are watching this service this morning, let your Holy Ghost fall upon them. Let them feel the Shekinah glory. Fill them with your Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Remember the communities, almighty God, round about the Seaview Gardens, Walter, Molines, Kesha Gardens. Almighty God, and those that extend beyond draw souls into your kingdom we believe you for a mighty harvest oh god send laborers help us to submit to you lord jesus we believe you for a mighty work for your word has never failed even so do it lord let your anointing take control of everything that is said and done this morning and we give you the praise the honor and the glory for you deserve it in Jesus name we pray hallelujah thank you Jesus let us all say in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah can you turn your Bibles to Psalm 127 as sister wind comes with the morning scripture and he praise the Lord hallelujah. we'll read together except the Lord build the house they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth to his beloved. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Here ended a portion of God's holy word. At this time, I just want to pause for a minute to greet our online viewers. We want you to remember that you are special to us. We know that there are so many other channels, so many other services that you could have joined, but you have cho chosen to join us, and we appreciate it very much. And this morning, I just want you to know that whenever you get the chance that you not just stay home and view us, but, but that you visit us, a warm welcome is awaiting you. God bless you in Jesus' name. And at this time, I invite our pastor to come with the pastoral greetings. 
Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in the house of the Lord once more. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. Today, we would like to greet my good husband, Reverend Rankin, and asking you to pray for him because he's having many pains that cause him to not be able to move as he would like to move. We are happy to have our visiting preacher today, Brother Spence and Sister Spence. Would you stand, Sister Spence? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Welcome to Midway Tabernacle. God bless you. God bless you. And to all the saints, we'd like to say welcome, greetings, God bless you. The children are upstairs. Um, I'll say more about that. Now, Deacon Lawrence is not well. And he fell down at one time and hit his knee. And about two times. And it hampers him from going up and down the stairs of his house. So he mostly stay inside. So pray for him. Praise the Lord. So pray for Deacon Lawrence. Praise the Lord. All right. Next week, we are having a special guest for the children upstairs to help them. Hallelujah. The person of Sister Grace. All right. She's coming to be upstairs with them. And I would also like to tell you that Wednesday evening, at seven is prayer meeting and Bible study. All right. All right. So you know the outline. So you choose the days when you will go. God bless you in Jesus' name. Is there anyone who remembers the theme for today? It has left your brain already. It says, let the Lord be your keeper and your guide. When we do that, we can never fail. Amen? Can you stand with me? We're going to sing, I'm His. What a wonderful feeling. I'm His. What a wonderful feeling in my happy soul. He's mine. And He's protecting me from the heat and the cold. to come. You may be seated. Righteous, loving God, we thank you. We thank you for this another opportunity, Lord, to bring forth, Lord God, which you have blessed us with. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you multiply it. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you'll anoint it. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you'll provide for those who have not to give this morning. As we give you thanks for this offering, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
salvation mighty God thank you for loving us God Jesus it's all about you God we worship you this morning we give you praise this morning Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus 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 Is there any shout of praise this morning? Come on. Is there any shout of praise this morning? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Give me Jesus in the morning, give me Jesus in the evening, every moment of the day, just give me Jesus. Give me Jesus in the morning, give me Jesus in the evening, every moment of the day, just give me Jesus. Give me Jesus in the morning. You give me Jesus in the evening. Every moment of the day. Jesus, one more time. Give me Jesus in the morning. You give me Jesus in the evening. Every moment of the day. Oh, 
Hallelujah, Jesus. The best is yet to come when I walk through heaven gates. The first time I see Jesus, I can hardly wait. When he shaped me to that mansion and said, This is your home. I have a in my heart. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. When I walk with heaven's gates, the first time I see Jesus, only God I can be. When He takes me to my mansion, say this is your home, and I have a feeling in my heart. Okay, Sister Maya, I see every day as I come to Jordan. I've been a mighty blessed by God, and I'm a holiness to His hand. The journey of us over, the victory nearly won. Hallelujah! And I have a feeling in my heart.
Yes, to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship your mighty God. We honor you, Lord Jesus. And we glorify your precious holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Be exalted, O oh Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Beautiful atmosphere of worship. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We invite to the podium our speaker for today in the person of Brother Larone Spence. Welcome him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Lord. Can we just Hallelujah. continue to worship this great, great God? The Lord is so sweet. He's so sweet. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Lord, we love you. I love you, Lord. I love you. We love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, God. Let me just express our love for Him to Him. You are good, Lord. Your promises are sure. Your spirit is good. Yes, Lord. Yes. And we love you, God. We love you. We love you, our Father. We love you, our Savior. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. It's best with your will. It's best with your will. It's best with your will. Hallelujah. I always love you, Lord. I always love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll just be asking Pastor Rankin to just pray for us at this moment. Oh, Lord Jesus, we love you. We can't live without you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for your grace. Hallelujah. We thank you for salvation. Regardless of the fight that we have to go through, oh God, we love you, Lord. We love you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for brother and sister sketch today. Lord, we ask you to touch them. Lord, we ask you to use them. Speak through them, Lord. Use them as your lively oracle. Bless them, Lord. Anoint the word. Take full control. Let your will be our choice. Use us, Lord, to the glory of your kingdom. Oh, God, save the lost, we pray. Save those that never know you, Jesus. Oh, God, bring them to know you, to be saved. Deliver them, Lord, out of every situation. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just feel just a great Thank you, Lord. presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, and I just... Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I don't think Thank that I'll be very long. And I do believe that the Lord just loves 
and we just worship him. Thank you, Lord. In spirit and in truth. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We love you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we love Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Just one more time. Just lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Worship you, Lord. Be exalted, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just be reading from First Samuel chapter one. Thank you, God. And perhaps I'll just read, and then we worship after. First Samuel chapter one, from verse ten, says she and she. That's Hannah was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Verse 16 says, Call not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Praise God. We may be seated. Amen. Just the thought I'd like to share is pour out your soul before the Lord. Pour out your soul before the Lord and I greet. Amen. Midway Tabernacle, it's always a blessing to be here. Amen. Amen. Always love to worship with the saints here. Greetings to Amen. Pastor and Bishop Rankin. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Towers of strength. I don't know about you. Okay. Okay. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Very great towers of strength. Amen. And I look up to them in more ways than one. And I thank the Lord to have been under their leadership. Amen. For so many years. Praise God. And greetings to my lovely wife. Praise God. She's with me worshiping the Lord. Praise God. And we've been married 65 years. Days. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 
pour out your soul before the Lord. And this is a very famous passage. We would have read about Hannah and learnt about Hannah in the days of Sunday school, right? And we would have heard that Hannah was the mother of Samuel and Samuel was a child of promise. Amen. It was a time when the land was not doing very well, where there was a lot of corruption everywhere, and the Lord really wanted his people to be in a good standing. Amen. And here we see a family. We have a husband by the name of Elkanah. We have a wife. In fact, we have two wives. One was called Hannah and the other Penina. And we see that Penina, she had children, but Hannah had no children. But what we find to be very interesting is that Elkanah seemed to have loved Hannah more than Penina. Because when they went up yearly out of their city to worship in Shiloh, Elkanah would have given, as was his duty and his responsibility as a father, he would have given portions to both his wives for them to sacrifice unto the Lord, but he gave unto Hannah a more worthy portion. In other words, it was what maybe we could say a double portion. So if Penina got a thousand dollars, then Hannah would have gotten two thousand dollars. Right. Praise the Lord Jesus. And it is very interesting because even though Elkanah had such love for his wife. It seemed as if his wife was just under grief. Praise God. Amen. And the grief would have been that she had no child to give to her husband. Right? She would have seen her uh, counterpart. You know, not having just one child, but several children. And I would suppose that she would have you know, felt in her mind that, you know, she is less than or inferior. Right? But what we see is that it was not so. And there are three things that I, you know, just want to share with us as we speak about pouring out our hearts, right? Three things. It's one, we must be aware of who we are pouring our hearts to. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I believe that Elkanah was in a position, amen, as God. In fact, we see that when it comes on to the church, the Bible says that the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. So a man that stands, amen, in his rightful position will stand as the Lord Jesus Christ. And what we see, amen, in Elkanah's case is that he had great love for Hannah. And that is a very important uh, point because there are so many persons in this world, amen, who feel as if they aren't loved. One, they are not loved at all by anyone. And two, that they are not loved by God. And this is one of the chief strategies of the enemy 
The enemy wants to make persons feel as if they are inferior. He wants to make persons feel as if no one cares about them. And so anyone that the enemy targets in this way, they begin to feel a lot of depression. They begin to feel, amen, great despondency. They begin to feel very demotivated. Hallelujah. And nothing, amen, amen, would ever seem to give them happiness. And while that is happening, the enemy is rejoicing. And this is why the scripture says, Amen. That the Lord has not given us the spirit again to fear. But what has he had given us? The, the, the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. That's very important. Amen. For us to understand that when we get the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, we get love, hallelujah, personified within us. The Bible says that the Holy Ghost is shed abroad in our hearts and it is just love. Have you ever felt, amen, amen, in a very, maybe a very lonely or sad place, amen, amen, and you don't even know why you feel so down, but then you begin to pray. And then all of a sudden, that down feeling, that sad feeling, that depressed feeling, it just disappears out of the way. Why? Because love just begins to multiply. And so Elkanah in his position was trying to tell Hannah, Amen, that I love you. And God was trying to tell Hannah through Elkanah that I love you. But you see, the thing is that sometimes circumstances in our lives will cause us, amen, to forget that God loves us. And I'm so happy that from Sunday school age, we've been, amen, you know, learning that yes, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves the little children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of these nice Sunday school songs, they are very simple, but they are very profound. It is telling us the love that a father, the love that the husband of the church has for us. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I want to tell someone here, whether you're physical or whether you're listening via tube, YouTube, that Jesus loves you. And so... We see in verse 6, and I want you to follow along with me. Believe me, I don't believe that I'll be very long. Verse 5 says that he gave unto Hannah a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. Verse 6 says her adversary also provoked her sore to make her fret. Because the Lord had shut up her womb. And I really, I really love what we're reading here. Because the Bible says it was not the enemy that did this thing. God loved Hannah. But God decided to just shut up her womb. But while we were praying, and I heard Sister Natalie, amen, as she was praying unto the Lord, I, I heard a point that she had touched, that God is the one that shuts, and God is also the one that opens. So if the Lord decided to shut up the womb, then I believe that the Lord, amen, not only has the power to open up the womb, but the Lord will. Can we praise the Lord? Amen. Believe me. Believe me. I wanted to just, 
you know, go somewhere else. But every time the Lord just is pointing me back to First Samuel 1. So I believe that this is for someone. So just, just really just worship the Lord and amen. Try to get what God is trying to say to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so she went up to the house of the Lord every year. Amen, amen. Just pouring her heart unto the Lord. And it's a very important point. Because there are so many persons that when they are pouring out their heart, they're not pouring out their heart to the right source. They will pour out their hearts to their friends. And their friends are good. Amen. The Bible says, amen, a friend loves at all times. The Bible says, amen, amen, that the count, you know, when you have uh, two or three and if one person falls, then someone else can take them up. So it is a good thing to have friends. Some persons pour out their hearts unto counselors and psychiatrists and psychologists. And that is also good because there are some things that uh, they would have, you know, studied for many years, amen, in their studies about the human condition, about the human mind, they can maybe classify different, you know, types of mental illnesses, amen, they can know how to deal with, you know, certain kinds of depression, it's good, it's good, it's good, but there is always something better. And so the best person that you can pour out your heart to when it feels as if the situations of life are overwhelming the best person that you can pour out your heart to is the lord david understood it he said when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i hallelujah when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh they stumbled and fell hallelujah why hallelujah because david understood that he had a safe place a place that he can run to hallelujah the bible says that the name of the lord is a strong and mighty tower the righteous run into it and they are safe and in such a time as this when there are many diseases when there is much crime and violence hallelujah when money seems to be very scarce it is a perfect time for us to pour out our hearts unto the Lord. Praise God. Can we lift up our hearts? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so verse 10 says she was in bitterness of soul, prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget your handmaid but give unto your handmaid a man child then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor come upon his head. The second thing I want to talk about is that when it comes down to pouring out our heart, amen, yes, it must be to the Lord. Amen. But also, hallelujah, we must be aware, amen, that it must be specific. As we pour out our hearts unto the Lord, we must be so specific. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's so many persons, hallelujah, that when they pray, amen, they would like to beat around the bushes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But I'm reminded in the book of James that if any man will ask anything of the Lord, he must ask in faith faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed and it gives that warning let not any man that approaches God that way think that he will ever receive anything of him 
For a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, I see that as a great welcome and a great challenge. Hallelujah. Because God actually wants us to tell us exactly where it hurts. Have you ever been to a doctor? And... Right, has, you, have you, has, has anybody ever been to the doctor? I want to know first of all. All right. Has the doctor ever, or have you ever gone because of pain that you were feeling? And has the doctor ever asked you, where are you feeling the pain? That's the same thing with God. Amen. He's asking a question. In fact, he knows exactly where the pain is. But he wants you to tell him exactly where it is. What is the issue that you are having? And we see it all throughout the scriptures. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Where God, even though he's omniscient, in fact, in, that, in the sense that he knows everything, he would ask certain questions. We see it from Genesis. He knew where Adam was, but he asked the question, Adam, where are you? Son of man, can these bones live? Will thou be made whole? These are questions that the omniscient God has asked. And he knows the answer, but he's waiting for a response. He's waiting for, amen, for our hum humanity to line up with his divinity to say, God, this is the problem that I am having. Hallelujah. And you don't beat around the bush, but you say it exactly. And we see in the scriptures that every single person that was very specific in their needs and told the Lord exactly what the need was, they got an answer. And so Hannah, she wanted a child, but not just any child. She said, I want a man-child. And daughters are a blessing. I would love to have a daughter one day, the Lord's will. But there's just something I, I, I'm seeing from the Old Testament that when it came on, amen, to persons, amen, who had issues with conceiving, every one of them brought forth as their firstborn a man-child. And I believe that all this was indicative of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember Bishop Rankin, amen, some years ago, he spoke, I think, from John 3, and he was saying that man is the problem of mankind. It was man that caused mankind to be in this situation. And it is man that is going to be the solution. Amen. And he used the scripture from, uh, in, I, you know, the numbers where some serpents were biting the Israelites. And so it was snakes that was causing, amen, the people to become ill and die. But it was a snake that Moses had to hold up for the people to be saved. And so I get from that, that when Hannah was crying unto the Lord for a man-child, the Lord was very pleased with this request because she was tapping into what the Lord would be doing just a few centuries later when he sent forth the Lord Jesus Christ into this world to redeem man from all iniquity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so verse 12 says it came to pass as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And he said, how long will you be drunk? Put away your wine from thee. And verse 15 says, no, my Lord. 
I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul unto the Lord. And what she was actually saying, and this is the third thing that I'll say, so when it comes down to pouring out our souls, it's to a specific person. We must be aware of the source, amen, or the point to which it is pointing to. It is to the Lord. Hallelujah. We must also be aware that it must be specific. And three, as we pour out our souls, Hallelujah. We must be, amen, amen, understanding that we can't hold it back. We can't hold anything back. It must be with all our hearts. All our hearts. And I see from the scriptures, where the Lord has been speaking to his people. And he says, if you will search for me with all your heart. The fact of the matter is that there are persons that are searching for the Lord. But they're not doing it with all of their hearts. Praise God. Hallelujah. They would say prayers. But the prayer is not from a deep deep place amen of intercession it's not from a deep deep place hallelujah where it goes beyond words hallelujah hallelujah and it is now from the spirit hallelujah it is very rare for people hallelujah hallelujah to just really just shut out everything and just pour out their hearts before the Lord. But I believe that in this time, more than any other time, God is desiring of his people, hallelujah, to pour out their hearts in such a way that the English language is no longer sufficient. Hallelujah. And I believe that there are some persons here, amen, you would have come to church, hallelujah, and you would have come, uh, you would have come, you know, in your Sunday best, you would have come and you would be happy and praising the Lord. But when you go home, there is a situation that is facing you. And I want to say, just in closing, that the Lord's desire is that you use this day as an opportunity there may be someone here and it's very funny because I'm aware that this is not youth week I'm aware that this is not missions convention I'm also aware that three days prayer and fasting has not started as yet but if you can take these words not as the words of Brother Laron. But if you can look beyond Brother Laron. And see that the Lord actually wants you to experience a change today. If you can take these words. As the words of the Lord, and believe me, I wish I could be jumping up and down. I wish I could be, you know, standing on somewhere. Amen. Amen. And maybe even speaking, you know, in tongues and there be an interpretation of tongues. I wish that were the case. But if you can take this word as a word for an issue that you've been having. This lady had this issue for so many years and she did not wait for a special time she did not even go in a long period of fasting the one thing or the three things that she did she never told
told it to the priest. She never told it to Elkanah. She told her issues unto the Lord. And she was so specific about it. And she was so heart filled about it. She, she poured out everything and nothing was left to the point where people thought that she was mad. And at the end of it all, the Lord gave Eli the priest that word and says the Lord has granted you your petition. The moment he heard that she cried out from the, the depths of her heart, he understood, hallelujah, that God had already granted her her petition. And so he just gave a word, go in peace. Because the Lord has heard you. Is there someone here today that you are not saved? You don't have the Holy Ghost. I want to tell you also that if you come to an altar of repentance and you say to God, I have sinned. These are the things that I have done. And I want you to forgive give me and wash me in your blood and fill me with your spirit then something is going to happen uh, Hannah is a template because the Bible says her lips began to move hallelujah hallelujah because this was something more than a, a, a fleshly prayer she was now tapping into the spirit and so her lips begin to move hallelujah and from the depths of her heart Heart. something came out but something also came in because at the season appointed I believe nine months later she got that man child hallelujah you point it back to that time that she went to the church and she poured out God poured something within her can we stand at this moment hallelujah where is that where is that cry god wants a cry you might not be sorrowing now but god still wants you to pour out your heart unto him you can pour out your heart even in joy hallelujah just let the holy ghost take over and let god do his work in jesus name god bless you Somebody who don't have the Holy Ghost, you'd like to come and seek the Lord. You're tired of the way that you're living. You're tired of being empty. You're tired of being tired. Would you come and seek the Lord today? is waiting on you. The Lord is waiting on you. Don't wait until the door is closed. Come and surrender to him right I'm 
Praise the Lord, everybody. We're going to dismiss and let us stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the time that we have spent in your house. Thank you for your presence, your anointing, your comfort. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us. Help those, Lord, that are still out there that do not know you. Those who are afflicted and sick. Oh, God, I cannot even focus. Have mercy on them. Save them, oh, God. Do something for them that no one else can do. Take care of your people. Provide for them. Help them. Oh God, make a way for them where there seems to be no way. Hide them under your blood. Help them to be faithful knowing that in just a little while it will all be over. And we must be found faithful when the trumpets sound. Have your own way. Take us home safely, we pray. In Jesus' name. God bless you. You're listening.